Unwanted or damaged electronic products such as phones or computers are a global problem. They form what's called e-waste, and it's the world's fastest growing domestic waste stream, according to the UN. It contains pollutants such as lead and phosphors and other hard-to-recycle components, but they also hold precious metals such as gold, silver, copper and platinum, which can be recovered. In recent years, developing nations have been clamping down on what waste they'll accept. So now Western nations are having to find a way to recover and process their own waste. Oli Crush runs Mint Innovation in Auckland, New Zealand. It uses microbes to remove precious metals from e-waste. The mint process for waste starts by taking the scrap and grinding it up into a sand-like consistency. And the reason we do this is that we need to make sure that we're exposing all the metal contained within uh, to a subsequent chemical leaching process. And for instance, when you look at circuit boards, they've got lots of chips on them. A lot of the value is contained within those chips. I'm just about to add some of the special micros we have pulling out uh, one of the metals, gold. The ground up e waste is placed in a reactor with a solution containing billions of microbes, and they can extract the different metals. Nearly 50% of the value of e waste comes from the gold that's used in the circuitry. Um, in fact, there's actually more gold in e-waste uh, as a concentration than there is in gold ore that's been mined, uh, which shows you the value of, of urban mining uh, and being able to take um, you know, your e-waste and recycle and reuse some of the elements that are found in it. And so coming up with methods for being able to separate and recycle those will be really critical. In 2019 alone, the UN estimates over 50 million metric tons of e-waste was dumped globally. That's up 21% in just five years. Some urban mining companies, such as Mint Innovation, are hoping to use green chemistry principles to build a lucrative business and clean the planet.